the 45 to 49 age division men's masters have entered the field of competition this is the 2013 reebok crossfit game event number four day two here is your starting lineup we've got some big heavy hitters in this event Miles, who do we need to watch? Let's look out for first place athlete at this position, or at this current state right now, Dr. Gene LaMonica from Red Rocks CrossFit. He's won the CrossFit Games last year. He's placed second in the previous year. He knows what it takes to get through this workout and stay on top of the leaderboard. Ron Ortiz, let's check out him. Second place going in this event. He's on a man on a mission. Cliff Lewis from CrossFit Heath, also third place right now, looking for of a top podium finish. What else is going on? Some of these athletes are gunning for a top 12 position because that's it. They're cutting down to the top 12 in order to move on to the next day. All 19 men in this age division are on the competition floor at one time. We only have one heat. So you'll be able to look down the line and see all of the men that are in this competition at this current time competing at once. When the athletes here go, they are going to start in on a couplet. Two movements involved in this event, heavy deadlifts and tall box jumps. They will complete 21 deadlifts at 275 pounds, then 21 box jumps on top of a 30 inch box, then 15 reps of each movement, nine reps of each movement, cross the finish line and I promise you, it will go fast. 275 pounds is a lot of weight. Some of these athletes are thinking all reps on broken. Let's see if they could do it. 21 reps on the, ten, on the ten, deadlift. Eight. What the judges are looking for, the bar has to make contact with the ground each time. They need to stand that bar up, show control with hip lock out at the top. Ready. Now I know you wouldn't think that you could get a bounce with 275 pounds, but Here it is go, possible to get a little bit of a bounce. However, that is not allowed. That's one thing that the judges will watch. These for. judges are looking for slack in the arms at the bottom. They need to have control at the bottom. Some of these athletes, you will see it. These judges are on it. They're making sure these standards are kept. This is an event that was also performed at the regionals this year. In the regional competition, all of the competitors did this same event. So we know kind of what we can look for as far as the time domain that these athletes will finish. Most of them will do this workout under four to five minutes. Right now, your leader in lane number 14 is Ronald Thomas. He jumped out to an early lead, completed 21 deadlifts at 275 pounds in 33 seconds. Box jumps, the rules today on the box jumps, no step ups allowed. They must jump off both legs and land on both legs. At the top, these athletes need to show control. That's been a problem for some of these guys earlier. No reps at this point cannot happen. And in lane number 16, we have a new leader, Jeff Ernstberger, jumped into the lead. Now he has 14, 15 reps completed and has passed up Ronald Thomas, who is in second place. Jeff's been sitting on the bubble. He's in 12th place. He needs to, to perform high at this point in order to make it into tomorrow's events. Jeff now has 19 reps on the box jumps completed and only has one rep left. In the black shorts, that is Jeff Ernstberger heading back to the 275 pound barbell. He has to complete 15 deadlifts. 15 deadlifts. This is the, the middle of, of the particular event. They have to get through this as fast as they can. It's a mental barrier right now they're trying to break through. 15 deadlifts, 275 pounds. That is your leader. He has nine reps completed. Jeff Ernstberger ahead of second place, Mr. Ortiz in lane number 11. Ron Ortiz, third in the 2011 CrossFit Games, 11 in the 2012 CrossFit Games Masters. So he also is a man on a mission, no stranger to the podium. Jeff Ernstberger down to his final rep on the deadlift, his set of 15, <laughs> gives a thumbs up sign. Almost like he's really having a good time. Goes. Yeah, almost <laughs> like he's having a good time and starts in on a set of 15 deadlifts, or excuse me, box jumps. He's got three so far. 15 box jumps, he's got a nice pace, slow and steady, making sure each rep counts. He doesn't want to get a no rep. Two minutes and 45 seconds into this workout. There is a 10, ten minute time cap. However, most of these athletes won't even need half of that amount of time 
to complete 45 reps of a heavy deadlift and a tall box jump. This is Ron Ortiz. Right, we're seeing no reps out of him. He can't use his hands at all to help him. So he needs to get up there and stand up without the use of his hands. Currently, Ron Ortiz is in third place. He has three reps completed. 30 inches is a tall box. Not only difficult to get to, but they're trying to maintain safety out there. Jeff Ernstberger back to the bar. This is his last set. Nine deadlifts, nine box jumps, and he will finish this workout in first place. We're three minutes and 30 seconds in, and he's setting the blazing time. He has three reps left. He's gonna set the bar down, step away. These workouts, these athletes have performed today and yesterday, starting to take their toll. However, he's gonna dig deep, push through the pain, Three reps left, down to his final rep on the 275 pound deadlift. Now it's just nine box jumps that stand between him and first place in event number four. Jeff from CrossFit Cafe, six foot two, 205 pounds. He looks big, that, that's because he is. Just past the four minute mark and he's down to uh, four box jumps. He only has, well, four now. He's completed five, now six reps. Jeff looks to close things Two reps left He's got on that tall left. box, and he is up and, and over. And noise, Jeff Ernsberg will cross the finish line. Unofficial time for Jeff, four minutes, 26 seconds. Remember, he knows that He's up against the entire field out there. That's it. So he gets to that finish. He's the first place. And Ronald Thomas takes second place. Unofficial time for Ronald, four minutes and 38 seconds. Jeff Ernsberger, first place. Ron Thompson in second place. The fight now is for third place. In fact, it's Gene LaMonica comes in in third place, barely edges out Michael Fournier by two seconds. But still a whole lot of action going on out here on the floor. Ronald Ortiz comes in, finishes in sixth place. Unofficial time, four minutes, 59 seconds. Jerry Hill crosses the finish line. Unofficial time, five minutes and 12 seconds for Jerry Hill in eighth place. Frank Colavita chipping away. He's got one rep left on those tall box jumps. And he's back to the barbell for his final set of nine reps on the, bar on the barbell. Mike Egan. Step it on that finish back. Five, Remember the battle is going on right now for some of these athletes to make it into the top 12. They need to get into that top 12 in order to make the cut so they can compete in tomorrow's events. And Cliff Lewis finishes. An unofficial time for Cliff Lewis, five minutes, 58 seconds. Remember, there's a 10 minute time cap. These athletes still have four minutes in which to finish this workout. Several athletes still chipping away at this brutal couplet. Frank Colabita down to his final set of box jumps. And Frank Colabita already has completed four reps, now five reps. Paul box jump, one Still rep, and then he will be done with event number four. Frank Colavita crosses the finish line, unofficial time, six minutes, 55 seconds. He will earn 15th place in this event. Right away, a lot of these athletes are jumping on the internet to find out that score to see if they, in fact, did make that top cut. One more rep for Lee. And Lee Sanford will stand it up in CrossFit FF. And Lee Sanford crosses the finish line and has completed his fourth workout in two days. Takes 16th place, unofficial time, seven minutes and 16 seconds. Just a few box jumps left to go for Brent. Brent Colson closing out event number four. He only has two reps left. Approaching the eight-minute mark. He's got one more box jump left. 
and completes his final box jump. Needs to cross the finish line. Will do so with an unofficial time, eight minutes flat. Brent Colson is done with day two of the men's masters competition. This is the 45 to 49 age division, and it looked like 275 pounds is giving some of these guys some trouble. Let's go down to Shira on the competition floor. She's standing by with a very tall Jeff Ernsberg. Jeff, amazing performance. Thank you. What did you think about it? Um, when the dog come up on, uh, on the wads, I was like really excited. Because when it came out in the regionals, I did it at the regional level, 315, and I was like right in the middle of my regional guys. So I knew when I saw that, I, was, I gotta take this one. Because I wasn't gonna be good on some of the Olympic lifts, but I knew I had to do well on this one. Uh, but after the uh, rest of the wads, before this, it was pretty brutal. What can we expect of you tomorrow? Um, 100%, leaving it all on the floor. How's that sound? <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Back to you, you, Justin. Thank you, Shira. Congra congratulations, Jeff Ernsberger. Stormed through that workout. Powerful, powerful performance. 275 pounds. Not much on the deadlift for that young man. He made it look light. Strong athlete. And having some fun while he's doing it. He's the guy that's giving us the hang loose sign. Well, so Jeff Ernsberger takes first place. Four minutes, 26 seconds. Rounding out your top three, Ronald Thomas, Gene LaMonica. That is it for day two of the men's masters competition. 45 to 49 year old age division. We're coming up next with the 40 to 44 year olds. For Miles Lewis, I'm Justin Judkins. We'll be back in a moment.